Welcome, friends of St. Peter's, to the weekly Tuesday morning morning prayer service. At this service, we'll be using the readings from the festival, the Saints' Day of the Holy Innocents. By clicking on the title of this video, you should find a link to the bulletin for the service. Now a moment of silence before we start. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. We remember today, O God, the slaughter of the holy innocents of Bethlehem by King Herod. Receive, we pray, into the arms of your mercy all innocent victims, and by your great might frustrate the design of evil tyrants and establish your rule of justice, love, and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading comes from the book of Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, A voice is heard in Ramah, lamentations and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children, because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, Keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward for your work, says the Lord. They shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, says the Lord. Your children shall come back to their country. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 124. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel now say, if the Lord had not been on our side when enemies rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us up alive in the, their fierce anger toward us? Then would the waters have overwhelmed us and the torrent gone over us? Then would the raging waters have gone right over us? Blessed be the Lord. He has not given us over to be a prey for their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler, the snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And the sea was no more, and I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first thing have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, 
See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, and the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When the wise men had departed, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt. Remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night and went to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt, I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated and he sent and killed all of the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud la lamentations. Rachel, weeping for her children, she refused to be consoled because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This holiday of the Holy Innocents commemorates the massacre of children by King Herod as he was attempting to kill Jesus. These children are regarded as the first martyrs of the early church. Originally, it was celebrated as a part of Epiphany, but by the year 485 Common Era, it had become a separate festival and eventually became a saint's day. King Herod was unliked by his people. He was indifferent to religion and was extremely fearful that he would be killed and lose his throne. He took every opportunity to eliminate any perceived rival. Unable to find the baby Jesus, Herod becomes enraged and orders all children in Bethlehem, all children under the age of two, to be put to death. Now, why should we in the middle of the Christmas season, remember and celebrate this event. In prior years, years prior to the 17th century, it was customary to spank your children at sunrise on the day of the Holy Innocence to remind those children of the suffering experienced by the Holy Innocents. Fortunately, that practice has passed. I believe that the colic today captures the purpose for remembering and celebrating this event. First, we are asked in the colic to remember it. 
Second, we are asked to pray that all innocent victims, not just those on that particular event, but all innocent victims up to today and including today, that they be received by God in God's arms of mercy. And third, we're asked to pray that God will frustrate the designs of evil tyrants and establish a rule of justice, love, and peace on earth through Jesus Christ. I believe we need to recognize that innocent children are killed every day. They are killed by design or they are killed as collateral, collateral damage by we, we humans on earth. I think we're asked to remember. I think that we are asked to identify what we, as the faithful of God on earth, can do to help in establishing that rule of justice, love, and peace. Amen. Father, we pray for your Holy Catholic Church that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacrament. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Please offer your own petitions, either aloud or in the quiet of your heart. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you.
We are so fortunate, St. Peter's, that we have people who consistently support the ministries of our parish through their offerings of their time, their talent, and their treasure. Offerings can now be made via text to give by dialing 858-252-0622. You may also go to our website, stpetersdelmar.net slash give or mail a check to P.O. Box 336, Del Mar, California, 92014. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. And now, as our Savior has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As most of you know, deacons cannot bless individuals, but we can invoke the blessings of God upon all of us. And I like this particular invocation of a blessing from the Franciscans. May God bless us with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that we live deep within our hearts. May God bless us with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people. May God bless us with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, hunger, homelessness, and rejection so that we may reach out our hand in comfort to comfort them and to turn their pain into joy. And may God bless us with enough foolishness to believe that we can make a difference in this world so that we can do what others claim cannot be done. Amen. Let us go forth. In the name of Christ, thanks be to God.